Hey everybody, it's Becky with Rigid. Thanks for joining us for another Job Site Live. We're here in Elyria and we are giving away a 14 inch pipe wrench today. So like, comment, engage with us and one lucky winner will be taking home the 14 inch um, heavy duty pipe wrench from Elyria. Um, today we're gonna talk about all things CSX via the entire program. I have two product experts with us today. I have Amy Moneypenny, She's our global product manager over our diagnostics equipment. And I also pulled in Adam Daniels, one of our territory managers here in Ohio. Um, if you have questions, please uh, submit your questions. There's two options. There's a question mark icon along the bottom of the screen. Click on that, ask your question, and we will be asking those real time to both Amy and Adam at the end. Uh, if you have questions during today's uh, show and you want them answered right away, Tim Dumpy, his handle is Tim Dumpy. Uh, he will be answering those. He is our global director over our diagnostics product as well. So um, a lot of experts here today ready to answer your questions. And um, one more thing before we get started. If you are interested in any of these products and you would like one of our territory managers to come to your shop, come to the job site, show this to your crew, click the link in our bio, fill out the form, and our territory managers will be in touch with you and bring the product to you. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you. Thanks, Becky. Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to talk about the CSX VIA program. The, the VIA program consists of three different products. First, and most importantly, is a CSX VIA, then the HQX stock, and then finally, the standard and mini VIA mount. So let's talk a little bit about the VIA first. The VIA, is not just a, the VIA is a Wi-Fi enabled device. And what it does is it, uh, it converts any of the rigid c sync reels to a Wi-Fi enabled reel so that you can stream, share, email videos directly from your personal device. But VIA is more than just a Wi-Fi um, streaming device. VIA is a um, full camera control device. So within VIA's small little size, it weighs less than a pound, is all the brains and the technology of our full line of F-series monitors. So VIA is, the, is our first product that is built on a totally new software platform. You can obviously see it has limited keys. It only has three different keys on it. Um, and VIA works with our free HQX Live app, as well as all of our X-Series monitors do as well. So, like I said, VIA is small, it's compact, it's less than a pound, so it's convenient, it's easy, and it's, it's flexible. It's flexible because it works with all of our Sea Snake reels. It will directly connect with any of our reels that have an interconnect port. So, if you, have a RM200 or any of the compact series reels that have an interconnect port. VIA will work with them. VIA will also work with, sorry. VIA will also work with our small reels. So the nano reel, the micro reel, as well as the micro drain. It will dock and connect directly to them. If you're using VIA with a standard or a mini reel, you will need to use the VIA mount. So, VIA has a lot of new features to it. So, VIA connects in an instant. It powers your reels on and off remotely through your app. And let me show you how that works. So the way you dock it in is it has the directional arrows here on it, as well as on the back. Those arrows line up directly with the unlock icon on the interconnect port of whatever reel you're docking it into. You line that up. and you do a quarter turn and VIA is docked in. Now, some guys like to already have the battery mounted on the VIA. Um, 
I find it easier to dock it in and then put the battery in. So now the battery's in. So now we are ready to roll. VIA has three modes. It has um, a standby mode, uh, on, and a deep sleep. When VIA is in the standby mode, VIA actually slips into standby mode. Um, to help conserve battery. So um, if you're not using your camera for over five minutes, it will slip into standby mode. If um, you close the app, it will slip into standby mode. But the Wi-Fi will stay active for an hour. So as soon as you open that app back up, your VIA and your camera reel will be powered back on remotely. Also, another easy thing with VIA is that it has automatic software updates. So there's no more waiting for the latest software version to, to uh, upload to your VIA. All those software updates will happen in the background. So part of the Simple Connect, let me show you here, is that you don't have to go to your settings um, anymore to make sure that your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth are on. So just swipe up on your personal device, make sure that your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi are on. Then we're going to click on the HQX Live app. The app comes up. You can see the VIA is listed here in your device list. Click on that device and look, your VIA has automatically turned on remotely and powered your camera. Then you're able to do all, you're able to run your camera through the app. So you're able to zero out your counter. You're able to turn the sound on and off. Um, after you've selected the uh, device from your device list, you'll get a prompt asking you to join the Wi-Fi network. So you hit that. And there you go. You can see we are projecting here in the studio. So the VIA like the X-Series monitors, using the Wi-Fi, um, using the HQX app, can connect to up to 10 different devices. So you can also connect off your iPad. <laughs> hey Sam, I need a password. <laughs> Don't you just love zero, zero, zero. <laughs> zero, zero, zero. zero, zero. Very secure. So we're going to connect with the HQX Live app. We're going to connect to the VIA off of our device menu and we're going to hit join. And it's starting to share the stream. Sorry, just a little minor glitch on my part. But you can see, so now we are streaming to multiple devices from one via unit. And yes, um, Becky, we have a question? Yes, we do. Uh, the first question we have is, does the CSX via have audio and GPS? So the actual CSX via itself does not have audio and GPS, but what it does use is it uses whatever device that you're connecting it to as its audio and GPS device. So if you're connected to your smartphone or your tablet, it'll be using your smartphone or tablet's voice uh, or GPS. 
Okay, another question. Is the CSX Via waterproof? So yes, the CSX Via is waterproof. It has an IPS rating of 68, which means it's fully submersible. So it is a fully waterproof submersible item, which as we know in the plumbing industry, a lot of wetness. Um, so that is a, a big plus to have. Awesome, thank you, Adam. The next product um, I want to talk about is the H HQX Dock. So the HQX Dock here, obviously, is a personal device holder. But we've made it very convenient and efficient for you. So it can be a freestanding device holder, as you see here, but it also can dock directly on The, any of the compact series reels, just like our CS6X Versa monitor does. It can dock directly on. In addition, because we know that you're out in the field and you need to be productive and you need to, to um, have lots of uptime, we have incorporated a um, external battery charging station. So this is really just, it's a holder for your personal external battery that you can use to charge your personal device while out in the field. And hey, Amy, if I could just cut in that, just yes. to clarify, that is a device holder for your own personal storage backup battery pack. It is not provided that by Rigid, correct. but if you do choose to have an external power pack for your device, it will fit and mount and lock into place directly under that HQ dock. So, and like the 6X, the CS6X Versa that has the pivoting frame, the dock also has a pivoting frame. So you can move it into various positions to make sure that you are getting the best viewing angle for your inspection that you're doing. Also, if you get a close up of this, you can see that the spring-loaded device holder has a double um, ball joint here that is fully adjustable too with the uh, thumb knob. So I can loosen that, move my personal device in various angles so that I get the best and optimal viewing angle so I can complete my job easier. Right, there's another question. We hear this question all the time. What if there is no service in the area I'm working? I know this is your favorite question. So yeah, very commonly question because the CSX Via as well as all of our other CSX monitor lines um, have Wi-Fi that helps transmit the video to your smart device. People often wonder what if there is no Wi-Fi service where I'm at. Good news is, is you don't need to have Wi-Fi service because all of our units actually present its own Wi-Fi signal as well as Bluetooth signal. So as long as you're within range of 75 to 100 feet of that via, it produces its own Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And the Wi-Fi is to help engage all your videos and camera functions to your smart device. And as Amy showed earlier, the Bluetooth is what you can then use to connect to the via so you can turn it on remotely. So as long as you're within range of your via, you can use it all because it's all self uh, Wi-Fi and self Bluetooth transmitting. Another question, is the CSX Via compatible with all rigid sea snake reels? So yes, and there's one exception. It is compatible with all sea snake reels. Um, as Amy showed earlier with our new C40s, our M40s, our M200s, or our micro drains, it will fit and dock right in. With one exception to the old original Compact 2, it will not fit, it will not work with that old original Compact 2 from five, six years ago. The only other exception is on our standard and our mini reels, you do have to use an adapter bracket. So on these, which we'll get into, the CSX will actually mount to a special adapter bracket that will go on your standard or mini reel so it can be used with those. Very good point on the old compact series reel. Thank you very much, Adam. See, years of experience in the field. This is what you get when you, when you ask for a demo. You get somebody like Adam coming out to your shop, showing you personally how this all works. Thank you. So, and that's the perfect segment. You know what I love did about I talk, Rigid? Did I talk about durability? These are built Rigid Tough. <laughs> no, that was not planned. 
Um, so perfect segue about the standard in mini reels and if the VIA is uh, compatible with them. So this is the VIA mount. This is a, the uh, standard in mini CSX VIA mount. And you can see we've got it mounted here to our standard reel. It would also mount to the directly to the steel frame of the mini also. It has um, a uh, B-size ball joint on it. It does not ship, it does not ship standard with the spring-loaded bracket that the HQX dock ships with. Just want to be clear of that. But it fits it. So the ball joint will fit directly onto that, and I'll show you that in a minute. So it has a little shipping cap. You want, might want to keep that for storage. It's always nice to have it on there. Oh, and to that point, the VIA ships with a little shipping cap also um, that you can save and store like that if you're undocking your VIA from your um, reel. Because that's one of the beautiful things about the VIA is that it is interchangeable with all the different reels. We've heard so many comments from end users like yourselves saying, this is great. I can put it on my M40 or I can put it on, you know, my micro drain. This is wonderful. So they're switching them in and out and they're configuring their tools based off of the, their operator that's going to be doing that job, but also based off of the application of the job itself. There are some jobs that you're gonna require an X series monitor. There are some jobs that work, that are perfect for the VIA and to be able to stream to your personal device. So, so just like I showed you with docking the uh, VIA directly into one of the reels that have an interconnect port, you would do the same thing on the uh, VIA standard mini mount. So you would line your um, arrows up on the VIA with the unlock icon on the standard and mini. Oh, I got the top one. Quarter turn and it's on. Put your battery in, fire up your app, and you're good to go. And Amy, if I can add one point to this. Of course you can. And as we're in an ever evolving um, in this industry in top, in terms of productivity and speed and efficiency, having the HQ dock on your standard or your mini reels, which is most of our reels in the market share, in the marketplace, are these two reels you see here. Having the ability to put the VIA on an adapter gives you the ability to make one trip in and out. Instead of taking maybe two hands to carry stuff in, you can carry it all in on one compact frame, which guys in the field have loved. And the ability, as Amy has shown, to string that right to your personal device and be able to text, email, upload video straight to the internet or YouTube right from your personal device really makes your jobs so much more efficient and streamlined in the field, which has been a huge advantage since we have launched this. Definitely. Adam, somebody's asking, is that standard or is that standard or optional? What's that? The mount for the, the yeah, reels? That's what you were talking about first. Yeah. So that is an optional. So currently, if you want to order this, it is not set up to be ordered with the VIA mount on the standard reel. What you'd have to do is order the standard or the mini reel and then order the mount for it separately and put it on. Installation is very, very simple and very easy. Um, it just has a couple of brackets. It has a bottom bracket and a top, and it just simply slides right on. And then you have four screws that you take out and you just lock the four screws back on it and it takes less than three minutes in installation as a breeze. And then as many, or if any of you are no rigid or have rigid cameras, we have the same three prong connection. So as that fits on the side, you can see where it comes right up to your reel, makes it almost cord free, um, but no cords to the monitor, which is a huge plus. Simple, easy transition, plug it in like you would any other camera and you're good to go. And like I said, the spring-loaded device holder from the HQX dock will dock on the one-inch ball mount on your standard and mini via mount. There you go. Okay, we have a few more questions. Oh, awesome. Is a device compatible with other RAM ball mounts? That I believe you guys already answered that, correct? Yes. So it, it, it 
is compatible with other RAM ball mounts. So um, there's a lot of different tablets um, out in the market. Um, so there is no you know, device holder that is going to satisfy um, every configuration of tablet that is out in the market. So this, this tablet holder, this um, device holder will fit um, a, a device that's nine inches to about 10 and a half inches you know, with the heavy duty um, protective case on it. Um, and so that satisfies probably about 70 to 80% of the tablets out there in the market. If you have a tablet that is a different size, you can always go on Amazon or directly to RAM um, and buy one that will custom fit your specific um, personal device. Great. We have Omar asking, what's the warranty? The warranty is the same warranty that, we all, that you all enjoy uh, with Rigid, so our full lifetime uh, warranty. Wonderful. Uh, what tablet does the HQX dock fit? The HQX dock, it's the same thing that I just described here. So it will fit a um, nine inch to a 10 and a half inch tablet with a heavy duty, you know, um, out of box case on it or without a case on it. But if you wanted to get a um, custom size um, personal device holder, you could order that directly from like Amazon or RAM. This device holder that comes standard with our HQX um, dock fits about 70 to 80% of the tablets out in the market. Okay, one more question. Did you cover the red caps yet? I did cover the red okay, caps. Okay, well then that answers that question. Somebody asked what the red caps are shipped with uh, the CSX via for. Save them because they can be used uh, for storage. They most certainly can. Perfect. They most certainly can. And then, uh, and then um, just in case you, I'm sorry, Adam, did you have another comment? Yeah, I was just going to say the one last thing is as we've gone through all this today, we showed everyone the newest, latest, and greatest that Rigid has to offer with the Wi Fi connectivity. Is one of the things that we are so known for in Rigid is we've been in the camera business for a lot of years, which we'll get into. But probably the biggest advantage is we know there's a lot of options for cameras out in the marketplace. But if any of you guys have been around for a while, I've seen Rigid cameras for a long time. You will notice not a whole lot has changed with the, some of the reels themselves, but some of the technology is updated. And we have noticed that we always have the latest and greatest monitors, latest and greatest reels, but one big advantage to Rigid and using a Rigid camera system is, is they are always interconnectable, no matter if you have different generations or different monitors. But this is CSX via this bracket adapter mount here is brand new to Rigid, but it still uses our standard three-prong connection, which Rigid has used since the very inception. So to be the ability to use your existing Rigid cameras or to intermatch any Rigid reel to any Rigid monitor is a, is a common question in the field. And the answer is you can intermingle almost all of this and we make it a way that's very easily doable and it's more convenient for you. So that is a huge advantage when you're talking Rigid cameras and the ability to adapt and to learn new technology and to be able to adapt new technology to some of your existing stuff or your new stuff. So it's just a great play on how over the last 20 plus years, Rigid has continued to innovate, but still make everything compatible, so. That is a great point, Adam, because Rigid provides solutions. You know, we're not uh, saying this is the only camera, this is the only monitor, this is the configuration you, you have to have. We provide solutions, and as Adam pointed out, all the different products, you can custom create a toolbox that works for your business and for your applications that you need. And I love the fact that you brought up that things are backwards compatible, because that's a huge thing um, that Rigid offers with our Sea Snake products. Adam touched on it a little bit. We are celebrating 25 years. Woohoo! This is our Silver Jubilee. Um, Rigid Sea Snake was first uh, introduced into the market in 1996. So Rigid and, uh, is celebrating our 25 year anniversary. If you haven't seen it yet, we are running a, a contest and giving away a free customized 25th anniversary edition mini True Sense self-leveling reel. So go to uh, uh, hashtag Rigid Tools 
and uh, look for the contest there. Uh, enter, submit your picture. Uh, the contest runs till uh, March 24th. Um, and here's another little plug. <laughs> We also are running our spring promo right now. And all the products that we talked about, that Adam and I talked about, there are a couple offers here on our spring promo. So you can buy, you know, any of the any of the Vias, any of the Via models, so a, a kit or just the Via itself, and you can get a dock free. Also, if you purchase any of the compact reels and you buy the Via, you get the uh, HQX dock and batteries and chargers free. So check out Rigid's spring promo offering. And last but not least, we are looking forward to seeing you guys at WET. At the end of June, we will have a 25th anniversary uh, celebration and we look forward to talking and hearing all of your successes. So thank you very much for joining Adam and myself. Have a great day.